helps the voiceless creature. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, The Wet Tutorial. Today we are going to study about the joints of forelimb in very simple tabular form. In this table, I am going to tell about name of joints, the type of joints, movement the joint shows, bones involved in the joint formation and the ligaments. But before starting this, subscribe my channel and also click the bell icon and if you like this video, give a very big thumbs up. Let's begin. First is shoulder joint and the type of joint is ball and socket. Movement is polyaxial or multiaxial and bones involved are glenoid cavity of scapula and head of the humerus and ligament are capsular ligament only. Second is elbow joint. In elbow joint, there are two types of joint. First is radius ulnar articulation and second is humerus radial articulation. So first, in radius ulnar articulation, type of joints are diarthrosis in fetus, amphiarthrosis in young and synarthrosis in adults. Movement is movable in fetus, restricted in youngs and immovable in adults. And the bones involved is posterior lateral aspect of shaft of radius and anterior surface of body of ulna. And ligaments are capsular ligament, interosseous ligament, archiform ligaments and second is humeroradial articulation. In this, the type of joints is hinge joint and the movement is extension and flexion. And bones and walls are the cotyledons of the humerus articulate with the proximal end of the radius and ligaments are capsular ligament, lateral, collateral ligament and medial collateral ligament. Then third is carpal or knee joint. In this, three types of articulation are present. First is radio ulnar carpal articulation. Second is intercarpal articulation. And third is carpo metacarpal articulation. All these three, the type of joint is hinge joint. And the movement in radio ulnar carpal articulation is extension and flexion. And in intercarpal articulation, it is also extension and flexion. And in capro-metacarpal articulation, slight gliding movement. And the bones involved in radio ulnar carpal articulation are distal end of the radius and ulna with proximal row of carpal. And in intercarpal articulation, the bones involved is between proximal and distal row of carpals. And in capro-metacarpal articulation, bones involved are distal carpal with the proximal end of metacarpal. And ligaments in all these three are capsular ligament, medial ligament and lateral ligament. Then fourth is fetlock joint. And the type of joint is hinge joint. And movement is extension and flexion. And bones involved are distal end of the metacarpal with the proximal end of the first phalange and the proximal sesamoid bones. And ligaments are capsular ligament, lateral collateral ligament, medial collateral ligament and sesamoidian. First is superior, second is inferior, third is intersesmoid and fourth is collateral. Then fifth type of joint is piston joint or proximal interphalangeal articulation. The type of joint is hinge joint and movement is extension and flexion and bone involved are lower end of the first phalanx and upper end of the second phalanx. And ligaments is capsular ligament, lateral collateral ligament, medial collateral ligament, posterior central ligament, posterior lateral ligament, posterior median ligament. And the last type of joint in the forelimb is coffin joint or distal interphalangeal articulation. The type of the joint is hinge joint. Movement is extension and flexion. Bones involved are distal end of the second phalanx with the proximal end of the third phalanx and distal sesamoid bone. And ligaments are capsular ligament, lateral collateral ligament, medial collateral ligament, cruciate ligament, superior and inferior navicular ligament. Here we ends the joints of forelimb. Stay safe and let's meet in the next video.